What's on YouTube? It's Pete TT coming at you with another division video. And today, guys, I'm bringing you a weekly reset video. Now, haven't done one of these for a very, very, very long time. And who knows if I'm going to carry on doing it. It is totally down to you guys. So if you like this video, smash the thumbs up button. If you want to see me doing it more often, then let me know in the comment section down below. So Weekly Reset comes around every Saturday. How do I plan on doing these videos? Well, I'm not going to go around and show everything off, guys. I'm sure you're all going to go around and check things out for yourself. So what I'm thinking of doing is bringing you what I believe are good buys and things that I would buy if I need them. And I will obviously show anything that is exceptionally good. So... That being said, let's start off in the terminal. As I am sure most of you are aware, there is this bad boy. This is the LVOAC. Um, drops with Vicious as a talent, which is pretty cool. Critical chance is increased by 10% while having more than two segments of health. Deadly critical hit damage is increased by 15% and destructive. Now... Everyone's kind of losing their shit about this right now. They're like, whoa, they're selling an amazing LVOA. Um... Yes, it's a nice weapon. Personally, I would roll deadly off of it. But for me, personally, not a weapon I'm going to waste 1,200, nearly 1,300 Phoenix credits on. The reason for that is Destructive is in the third slot. Uh, Destructive is a really easy talent to get active in one of the first two slots. So I feel that's a waste of the third slot. Yes, Destructive is a very good talent now, working in PvE and PvP, but... It's a waste of a third slot, in my opinion. Deadly, um, not too much of you know a major tiered talent anymore. Um, and as for vicious, although it's nice having the increased ten percent, you know in PVE, I would say that less than fifty percent of the time you're going to have more than two health segments, and in PVP, you know probably eighty percent of the time you're going to have less than two segments. So you're probably not going to have it active too much. But, you know, it is a very nice weapon, guys. And to be honest, it could be worse. If I was going to uh, if I was gonna pick one up, I would roll deadly off of it for something else. Uh, if you're in PvE, maybe try and get something like Ferocious. Although that would be better in the third talent because of the recommended electronics required. It's like 3,800. Um, there are a few other good talents you could roll onto this. Responsive would be a nice one. I suppose. Um, but yeah, you know, it's there, guys. If you want a really good assault rifle, a base assault rifle that is very, very nice for PvE and PvP, then definitely buy yourself this. Uh, roll out a couple of talents, make it a little bit better. Uh, moving on here then, what else do we have? Well, we have the Banshee's Backpack, if we come down here. Um, the reason I'm calling out the Banshee's Backpack as being good is obviously Banshee is designed for the Dark Zone. With a minor attribute of burn resistance, this could be quite nice if you come up against flame turrets or anything like that. Good against the cleaners. Uh, the major attribute could be re-rolled re for armor, and it has a 1245 base stat of stamina. So, you know, on the statted point of view, it is a very good backpack for um, a Banshee setup if you need it. Although, personally, I would be looking to roll, you know, like a specialized backpack or something like that. So, for me, I'm not going to buy it, but it is a good roll if you need it. Um, what else do we have then? Well, we have a set of gloves down here. These are Alpha Bridge gloves. 1226 on the stamina front, so good base value there. Uh, pistol damage, shotgun damage, critical hit damage. Now, personally, I would roll out shotgun damage and I would rock out either assault rifle or LMG damage. But, you know, it's, it's pretty good nonetheless. Um, if you're using shotguns, then obviously it's it's a very, very good roll for you guys. But, yeah, you know, if you're looking for Alpha Bridge and you need something good, then definitely recommend getting those gloves. Uh, a little bit further down the list, performance mods, we have a 5% first aid self-heal. Now, again, I'm not going to buy this. I wouldn't openly recommend buying it because five percent is pretty low you can get five and a half six six and a half percent ones drop for me they drop quite frequently but then i farm the open world bosses at least once every single day i do them all when i first log on so 
yeah, it kind of depends where you're coming from, guys. You know, if you're a bit more of a casual player and you don't have time to farm for these things, 5% self-heal could be very, very nice. Well worth buying for 192 Phoenix credits. Right, from here then, let's go over to the Blueprint Vendor. The Blueprint Vendor has a few things this week. First up is this, the classic RPK-74. 915 Phoenix credits, okay, rolling between 15.4 and 16.9k damage, 45 in the mag, 650 RPM. What's interesting about this, guys, is that the RPK, for those of you who don't know, is the archetype of the Pakan. The Pakan, uh, <laughs> the Pakan is the uh, devastating weapon uh, that can be brought up top in the base of operations. Very good for PvE, like godly, but can also be used very, very well in PvP. I personally roll out Ferocious. When I am running the PvP version, I have Unforgiving on mine, swift and destructive and makes a very nice weapon. But, you know, you can pick up the classic RPK blueprint if you really, really want it. But personally, again, I would recommend actually going and buying the Pakan because it comes with higher based damage. Now, there is also an angled grip here. Okay, so that gives you the first up guaranteed talent of stability. So if you run an assault rifle, this could be very, very nice. Um, obviously not if you run in a Famous, but again, I'm not going to pick it up. I don't tend to, you know, struggle to get mods, but you guys might want it if you're looking for something with stability and you need it guaranteed for definite. Maybe you don't have good RNG with them dropping. Then you can pick this up for 200 Phoenix credits. Somewhere in here as well, guys, although I can't show it to you because I've already bought it, um, is the converted USC blueprint. Personally, I would recommend getting that and trying to get your first two talents being godly so that you can then roll away the third talent. The third talent isn't very good on the converted USC but, you know, if you get the first two talents that are very good, in my opinion, Destructive has to be an absolute must. Maybe something like Brutal, uh, Unforgiving, they could be very good or responsive. Closer than, than 10 meters to the enemy increases your damage. Then you roll out the third option and you can pop something else in there. So, overall, you know, not too bad on the weapon blueprint front and not too bad of things being sold from the special equipment vendor. What we're going to do now, guys, we're going to jump through three different safe rooms. There's a few things I want to show you, so I'll catch you in just a moment. Right, guys, here we are. We're in Kerman Station. This is one of the safe rooms. And in here is a rather nice compensator. Now, the compensator isn't the best in class, but again, if you're looking for something with stability, 11.5% stability on this, 6% headshot damage, and 4.5% optimal range, okay, can be very, very nice. Now, what do I use a compensator for? Like I said, it's not the best in class for assault rifles or LMGs. Well, I personally use them on my pistol. Pistol is something I use quite a lot. If I've run out of ammo and something's close to being dead, I will always quick swap weapons rather Rather than go for the reload. Just something I've always done in games. And it works quite nice in Division as well. So yeah. Maybe you're looking for some attachments for your pistols. Maybe you don't want um, an Omega Rifle Suppressor. Which is by far the best in class muzzle mod for most weapons. Then go ahead. Pick yourself one of these up. Because to be honest. It's not got bad stats on it. Next then guys, we are going to head over to the cavern. The cavern has something very nice in there, so I will catch you again in just a moment. Right, here we are then guys, Kerman Station. What we're going to talk about here is this. This is a specialised backpack. What's really nice about this, 1202 on the firearms, although that's not the highest it can be, to me, anything over 1200 is a very good roll. It also has a major attribute of armour. Now, this can be increased by quite a bit, and it has bleed resistance. Again, I tend to rock out a specialised backpack like all the time. It means I don't have to worry about any electronic mods. I don't have to worry about rolling any pieces of gear to electronics, and I can still give myself fairly good skill power. This is going to be very good in PvP because of the bleed resistance, and quite often now you're going to find people rocking out predators and things like that, so you will get the bleed effect on you. So this is actually one piece of gear I would recommend buying to you guys if you don't have a specialised backpack already. Moving on then guys, now we are going to go to the last call, so I will catch you in a minute. 
Right guys, here we are. We are in the last cool safe house and we are now looking at this. This is the tactical AUG. 17.5k on the base damage, 33% critical hit damage. Comes with commanding, brutal and deadly. Again, you could roll out commanding for something else or you could roll out deadly if you can get the commanding active. While it's not the best SMG, and SMGs have indeed taken a nerf. You know, it's not bad. It could be better. Um, but with things like the FNC build now, having a good SMG is kind of one of them things I think everyone should have. I also think the FNC set is something that everyone should play with. And the AUG does make a nice weapon to run with it. Even in its nerfed state that it is now, um, SMGs can in the right hands modded correctly be very good and very useful brutal on this thing is very nice if you guys have been around for the kind of 1.2 days you will know how devastating the tactical aug is how accurate it is and you can definitely make the most out of the brutal talent and that guys is going to wrap up the safe house part of it okay um there are other things about but again, you know, you guys are probably going to go and have a look for yourself. So there's nothing else that stands out to me as you've got to buy this, you know, like lose your head over. This is amazing. Make sure you go and buy it. If you guys need certain things for your personal builds, then of course they may be useful to you. But there's nothing that jumps out to me as to say, guys, go and buy this. Check this out as the things have been so far so what we're going to do now guys we're going to jump into the dark zone and the dark zone safe rooms so yeah stay tuned and i'll catch you in a second so here we are guys in dz06 okay this is the church that sells all the gear set pieces now there are two pieces here that i think are very very nice the first one is the striker's mask 10% damage to elite, 8.5% enemy armor damage. While the enemy armor damage is on the low side, okay, I've got like 11.5% on some of my pieces of gear. It is still good, it's still usable, and although it comes on 1132 electronics, you can roll that away and obviously opt for stamina or firearms. So if you're looking for a good firearms or stamina striker's mask, and uh, you're using it more so for PvE than PvP, this is a very good mask. If I was to roll for PvP, then I probably wouldn't worry about this, the enemy armor damage being on the low side, and personally, when I'm rolling gear for the Dark Zone specifically, um, I tend to not worry about things like damage to elites and I roll things on my mask either like EDR or skill power. Skill power is uh, a very good thing to go back and roll if you're coming in for PvP. But what else do we have good? Well, it's the Alpha Bridge chest, <laughs> surprisingly enough. 1232 on the base stat in stamina comes at 1225 armor. So that is actually very, very nice. And 6% protection from elites with ammo capacity as the minor attribute. So... This is what I would consider to be a god roll, okay? A god roll to me is something that you can put on, doesn't need to be re-rolled, and is perfectly functionable in multiple different aspects of the game. And this chess piece definitely does it. Protection from elites, I think, is still a very underrated major attribute. Armor is on the high side because it's over 1200. The base stats over 1200 and the minor attribute being ammo capacity. Definitely, in my opinion, a must buy if you're looking for an alpha bridge chest. Obviously, if you're not looking for an alpha bridge chest, then it won't mean anything to you. But yeah, definitely a good chest. Pick it up, guys, if you need it. Moving on now, then we're going to head down to uh, DZ03 and I will catch you in a second, guys. Right, here we are then guys, we are now in DZ03, and we're in the East 42nd Street checkpoint. In here is an enduring mask. Now the reason I bring this up is because the base stat is 1262. The talent enduring, while in the last health segment, health continuously regenerates to fill up the segment. Not too bad a talent to be honest, on a mask, there are a few other good options. I would say when rolling for a high-end mask, but this one definitely with the base stat is very, very nice. And it comes with damage to elites and enemy armor damage. Now, again, it's not like a must-buy, guys, but 
it is very nice, especially if you're running a high-end build. The other thing I want to talk about here is this. This is the Tyrant Suppressor. This will fit on SMGs like the MP7, um, the PP19, UMC, things like that. 7.5% uh, quick hit chance. Very, very nice. 5% optimal range. Very nice for an SMG. And plus 4% critical hit damage again very nice and the minor attribute is plus 46 percent reduced threat if you don't have any decent silencers for your smgs then this could be very nice without a doubt but there are also better rolled versions out there i've seen them in safe rooms already since 1.5 came out and i've got them dropped from open world bosses so you know you might just want to be stingy hang on to your your dark zone funds and not pick this up but if you've got loads of them about guys you know worth worth a buy at least what we're going to do now is head on to uh, dz03 the east 40th street checkpoint because there is um, a fairly decent ish um, SVD that I want to talk to you guys about and yeah, I'll catch you in a second guys So here we are guys as I said, this is the East 40th Street DZ03 Safe room um, here. We have a Surplus SVD it has cape on it using a skill improves the handling of your weapon for 15 seconds We have brutal and we have disciplined now Disciplined is one of them talents that definitely works better on a bolt action um, rather than the semi-automatic versions. Brutal is very nice. Uh, capable using a skill improves the handling of your weapon for 15 seconds. It's not the best of talents to have on this weapon because the SVD is very accurate. But, you know, if you've got a quick trigger finger and you are getting that reticle boom, then capable can help control that. You know, personally, again, it's one of those. I won't buy this weapon. I won't recommend that you buy this weapon. But if you're looking for a semi-automatic, fast-firing marksman rifle, then this could be an option for you. And if you decide to go for it, I would actually roll out disciplined here and try to get something else in that slot because I really, just really don't think it's a worthwhile talent having on something that can't be you know a one hit kill weapon which the bolt action snipers can the SVD can't so yeah if you're going to buy this guys definitely recommend that you roll this one out right two more down to go then guys we have something in DZ5 West 46th Street and something in DZ6 West 53rd Street so we're going to head on over there and I will catch you in a minute so here in this safe room guys is a military mk46 now this actually isn't a bad lmg we've got capable using the skill improves the handling of your weapon for 15 seconds we have meticulous which is very nice for the belt fed machine guns and we have predatory killing a target regenerates 35 percent health over 20 seconds so yeah it's really really nice if you're running like an alpha bridge set and you're running dual lmgs this could be very nice if you're running solo and you want a half decent lmg then the mk46 isn't bad um, personally though when it comes to lmgs if i'm running it solo i still always opt for a pecan but yeah this isn't a bad one guys again i'm not going to say yeah you've got to buy this this is brilliant um but you know, it's, it's not bad. It is definitely usable. Again, we have a Tyrant Suppressor in here with Quick Hit Chance. We have 2.5% stability, Quick Hit Damage, and Reduced Threat. So, you know, again, there's another option there if you're looking for one of these suppressors on your SMGs. Now, there is one more thing to go, guys, and then we will wrap up this video. So, I'm going to head on up to West 53rd Street, and I will catch you all in just a second. So here we are then guys, this is what I wanted to talk to you about. This is a prototype performance mod sitting on 6% first aid self heal. This is actually really nice, better than the 5% one I showed you earlier. So if you've got the DZ funds, this would be the one I recommend getting. We all know that first aid uh, self heal got a slight nerf coming in at 1.5. So I always try to run at least one of these, um, if not two on most setups. Again, we've got a Tyrant Suppressor here with Crit Hit Chance, Optimal Range and Stability. This is actually a really nice roll. Crit Hit Chance, very good. Optimal Range, very good for SMGs and Stability. 
Uh, some of the SMGs do have a bit of vertical kick to them, so this could be quite useful. But again, guys, you know, it comes down to your personal preference. And that's going to wrap up everything I wanted to talk about in this week's reset video. Like I said, guys, I don't do these videos. Okay, there are several reasons for that. One is I don't actually get a chance to do them until very, very late on a Saturday or sometimes even Sunday. By then, most people already know what's for sale, and it just seems to be a waste of time putting, you know, half an hour into running around, checking everything, putting a video together. The other side of it is, I just don't know how to put these videos together without waffling and uh, without going on a little bit, making videos longer. Um, I, I have a very specific playstyle, and sometimes I've been known to miss things that are good because they don't fit in my with my playstyle. And other times I've, you know, hyped something up in, in previous videos that is good for me, but might not be good for you guys, so you don't want to know about it. Yeah, guys, just let me know in the comment section down below if you'd like to see me do these videos. Um, I'm happy to do them, without a doubt. You know, obviously they won't be around till later on on Saturday night or Sunday. Uh, maybe there's a specific format you would like. Maybe you'd like just like a two or three minute video where I actually just list where to go and what's for sale there. Maybe you'd just like to see a video that is a weekly best buy, you know, where I just go around, look at everything and pick out anything I think is a must buy and just cover those. And again, you guys can jolly on round, check everything out yourself and see whether there's anything else you want to buy. I don't know, guys. Let me know in the comment section down below. Like I say, this is just uh, a bit of one of those shot in the dark videos. I don't like doing them. Um, yeah, <laughs> thumbs up if you like the video, guys. Let me know your comments in the section down below. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. There are plenty more and definitely better videos than this one coming your way. As always, agents, thank you very much for watching. Till the next video, I'll catch you all soon.